Hey everybody, it's Caitlin with Glitter I'm coming to you from our studio to do a tutorial with you guys today on plaid. And I felt I had to get in the spirit by wearing my favorite color plaid, which is red and black. So let's do this. Um, we're going to be doing a tutorial today on how to do the actual plaid itself, plus a second part of the video, which is going to show you how to do the extra decaling and everything to do uh, to complete the cup if you want to. So what we're going to be using today is Monarch and Royal Purple to do one tutorial on just how to do the plaid itself. And then this tumbler is the one that we're going to actually do the decal work on, which is using Hijack and Freshwater Pearl. So let's get the camera turned down, set up, and get into this tutorial. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I've um, got my tumbler prepped. And I'm going to be using one inch blue painter's tape versus using vinyl, but you can use vinyl. It's totally up to you. And when I do this, I have like a little bit of a weird hack, if you will. All right, sweet. Okay, so what I do is I find the center of the cup on the bottom and basically find the middle. And that is my starting line. And then you go around the side. There you go. And now you have a nice straight line on each side. And I take the extra piece here because I might need it in a minute. So we have our edges. The cup is divided in half. Now's the fun part. So you're going to want to go around the tumbler, but keep your, your spacing the same. So you take your little extra tab here of tape, line it up with this line. It does not have to be amazingly perfect. It can overlap a little bit. It doesn't matter because it's all in the beauty of the eye of the beholder. So next you take your longer strip, go ahead and set that on there. Keep it nice and spaced. Go around, same thing. You're going to lose one long strip, but don't worry about it, it all meets in the end. I promise it does. So Sarah's sitting next to me watching me, just so you guys know. So this is the first time I've done this with an audience. <laughs> now it can be awkward for both of us. All right, so just gonna keep moving around. This stuff is sticky. Okay, so I know you're like, you didn't put one there. Don't worry about it because now you're going to pull off these little tabs here. You can fold these under or cut it with a knife. I just fold them down. But so now you have your nice stripes. Now you're going to go this direction. Easiest way is to start it at the top or the bottom, because then you actually have a straight line. All right, so step one. Now you go back to your little blue tabs of tape, and there's your spacer again to go down the cup. Y'all didn't hear Sarah just said brilliant. See that? I'm, I'm brilliant. I'm just, 
I do this as quickly and easily as I can without wasting vinyl. All right, so now you're gonna go around, making sure your lines, your tape lines match up. Line wasn't straight on that one. Okay, hold on. One's a little crooked. That's better. Perfect. Okay, so now you're gonna put the last little spacer piece in and you'll have just a little strip there, which is what you want. And then you do just that one last one, but it is gonna hang off the end, which is fine, because you're just gonna fold it over the edge of the tumbler. All right, and now you just remove your blue tabs that were spacers. And now you're ready to get started on the Mod Podge. So I'm gonna get that set up and we'll get right back to this. Okay, so now we've got everything set up, ready to go. I have my paintbrush, Mod Podge, my paper to catch glitter, and we're going to be using Royal Purple, Ultra Fine, and Monarch Ultra Fine to do a fall plaid tumbler. And I have a little measuring cup here and an extra shaker jar because we're gonna have to mix these two to make these, the second, no, it wouldn't be secondary, the third color for on the tumbler. So I always recommend starting with the darkest color first and going to lighter. So royal purple would be the darkest color. And that's because you're gonna have to do some finagling here. So just start putting your Mod Podge on and working your way around. And don't worry about the bottom, we'll come back to that at the end. Just get the squares done first. And that way too you can stand your cup up. Now I did not base coat this, I just sanded it because the colors don't need a different color base on them. But if you wanted to, you could do a black base or try, you could paint each square individually if you wanted, but I just prefer a silver base for this. All right, so that is the first layer done. Now, by the time you get to this point, this is pretty dry, so you can actually go ahead and do the second layer and start to work your way back down.
Okay, so now, while that just dries for a second, we're going to clean up our workspace. Except for that spot that I decided to throw across the table. And start to peel off the top layer of the uh, tape. So that's gonna be the lines that are going horizontal. So now you can see the next squares we're going to do are above the purple. So when you look at plaid, it's always going to be in a diagonal type pattern. So you're gonna have the purples here and then above these, you're actually gonna do a mix of royal purple and monarch together. So I'm gonna let this dry for a minute and then we'll do the part where we mix the two colors together. Okay, so now's the fun part of mixing the two colors together. So I have this little measuring cup. This is what I use for epoxy. And because these two colors are very, very fall, um, I'm just going to, I'm going to start doing it with an even mix and may, I may go darker or lighter, but uh, I'm going to do fifteen milliliters of royal purple. And this is just, I just measure it so I know how much I put in here in the extra jar. And then we'll do, I said 15, right? Cool, just checking. <laughs> I'm, I'm a professional. I know what I'm doing. And then 15 of Monarch. I can already tell it's too dark. Too dark, okay. I'm gonna make it lighter. So I did 15 and 15. And I'm gonna add 15 more of Monarch. I'm a mad scientist. That's much better. Although now I feel like it's too orange. Hmm. This is why it's fun. We're gonna put in a little more purple. Okay, I'm only gonna add 10. And I write it down again so I know what I've mixed. So. That's better. So it's not quite an even mix, but it's close to even. It figures. <laughs> but that's what we're gonna go with. So I have 30 milliliters of royal purple and 30, er, sorry, ignore me, 30 milliliters of monarch and 25 milliliters of royal purple. All right, so now we're gonna use the special mix we just mixed to do the next squares, which is this lovely mix right here. So let's get started. All you're gonna do is use a square, I recommend using a square edged brush for this because you're gonna push the Mod Podge up against where you did royal purple already. Let's just move that closer.
All right, now we're gonna go to the next square. Same thing. I'm gonna just push the, the epoxy, the Mod Podge up to the edge of where the royal purple is and fill in the square. It's kind of like a weird paint by numbers. Only you're using glue instead of paint. And if you accidentally get Mod Podge on the squares above it in that glitter, don't worry about it because you can always come back over it at the end and paint over it with some more Mod Podge and cover it up with the glitter that needs to be on that square. So now we're going to go back up here to the top and work our way back down. Okay, so now we've done those squares. So now the fun part of peeling the bars off. All right, so. And then the last one. All right, so now we're going to let that dry and then we'll come back in and actually use the same exact color and we're going to bake our own squares in between the lines of purple. Okay, so now I know what you're thinking because it's the same look that Sarah has on her face. You have just a straight bar here now and there's no tape in between. So if you wanted, you could try to put painter's tape in there or whatever you wanted. I find it easier actually to freehand the Mod Podge. And I know what you're like, that's crazy. As long as you're using a flat edge, like the square brush, it's actually quite easy. You're just gonna go up to the edge of the purple on both sides. Just like this. And then you just draw a line with the paintbrush. doesn't have to be perfect because again you're going to go over it with another color in a minute anyway so just make it as nice as you can and don't sweat the small stuff and just move on it's my life and my motto in life don't sweat the small stuff just move on <laughs> don't cry over spilt glitter
Yes, this I will say though that this is probably the most time consuming part other than taping, but I've, I mean, there's much more complicated things you could do with tumblers than plaid. So see, you can, they're not perfect squares, but they're pretty close to it. So you're just gonna go ahead and use the same mix that you used on the other squares of Royal Purple and Monarch mixed together. <laughs> and fill it in. So now you're gonna keep doing the same thing all the way down the bar. starting to see now it kind of come together so we're gonna go back over these and doing a second layer if I get Mod Podge right there <sighs> <laughs> I'm on a roll with my Mod Podge so if we do the bottom later not now and once you have that first layer down, it's it's a lot easier to paint the square over again because you're just following your same lines. I'm just going to sling Mod Podge everywhere right now. So now we have this complete. So next we'll come in with Monarch and fill these last squares. But before I do that, um, I always write down on the painter's tape, like a strip of painter's tape to put on the jar of what's mixed in this because I won't remember. So what I do is I'm gonna just write down that this is Monarch and royal purple. And then underneath here, I'm gonna put that this is 30 milliliters. 
and that this one was 25 milliliters. So now I know. And then I just basically put this on the jar so I now know I can make this cup a second time and I can always remix this color if maybe next year I want to make the same cup. For example, if a customer's like, hey, you made this one, I wanted to know if you'd make me another, you have that mix so you always know what was in it. So now I'm gonna let this dry and then we'll come back in and do Monarch. So we're gonna go ahead now and do the final squares with Monarch. And let's see, I don't need my pen anymore and I don't need that brush. Okay, so I have my square brush again and I'm gonna just go ahead and show you. I purposely did, well pretend I did it on purpose, but I'm gonna say I did. Um, where my square is not perfectly square here, but I'm gonna show you guys when I get up to this square, how I just cover that up with Mod Podge and fill it in. So let's get started. All right, follow along again, all of the lines, just as we did before. <clears throat> All right, so this is one of those squares where, <clears throat> excuse me, where I put the glitter a little too far down. So I'm just going to cover up the glitter that's already there with Mod Podge. So now it squares it off a little bit better, but you can see how I had to put it on the, on the, the other layer of glitter, which is fine. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put that on there so it covers it and now it's nice and square. So now that's nice and coated. So what we're gonna do is go back over it one more time. I know, redundancies here, right? One more time to do a second layer of glitter on the on where it's Monarch and the cup will be, and then we'll do the bottom, of course. Uh, can't forget the bottom. So go ahead and just start. Okay, so now we have that nice, it's all finished. I'm just gonna double check my lines to see if there's any places that need touching up. 
which everything looks pretty good. So now I'm gonna do the bottom and I'm actually just gonna continue using Monarch for the bottom of the cup. So I'm just gonna take my Mod Podge and brush it on the bottom of the cup. So now the bottom is nice and done. So that's just in Monarch. So it's a nice, it flows nicely to the end of the cup. And now we're going to just let that dry completely. I'm going to do a second layer on here, but I'm going to do that off the video. But um, so I'll do another coat of uh, Mod Podge and glitter on the bottom. And then I will um, get it coated, done in epoxy. And um, I'll show you guys that step after it's finished um, curing in epoxy. So um, I will tell you though, there's one thing you should know, um, and I know it's gonna get asked a lot. I do not ever seal my tumblers. Um, so let me set this down so I can show you guys what I do with this type of a tumbler design. Um, I've, I don't, I don't know why I don't seal them. I mean, you can, but I kind of found a little way to basically brush it off without having to seal it. So I have another tumbler here already done that's in plaid using hijack and freshwater pearl. And what I do is I just take a dry, I mean, this is dry brush, there's nothing on it. And literally just brush down the tumbler. And this, as you see, it starts to come off and there's just excess glitter that comes off, but the bulk of it stays on the cup. And this is just how I prepare a cup like this that's done with Mod Podge to go on the turner is I just dry brush off any excess glitter that may be on the cup and you'll see it falls on the paper. So um, that's all I do. So I'm not gonna seal it in any way. I'm literally just gonna brush it off once that's all dry and put it on the cup turner to epoxy. So once I get all that done, I will show you guys my plans afterwards, which is going to be to do some vinyl decals, um, details on here using some strips and stuff to kind of give it a more detailed plaid pattern. So we will be back once that part is ready.